Woo, 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 in the new jail thriller city. Jack Thriller, yeah. We creep being Snoop Dogg to the left, Jack Thriller to the right. JackThriller.com, do it all night, hit the website, hit us up real quick. If you're trying to get hooked up with a bad super bitch. Y'all waiting. Man, this is your boy Jack Thriller, man. And I'm doing great on this lovely day. I don't know what day it is for you. I don't know what time of the day it is for you. But uh, it's always morphing time around my hood. And, uh, yo, this is another episode of New Jack Thriller City. And um, you know what? I got some special guests hosting here today, man. Uh, like always, man, I got my cousin with the musto. Uh, you know, I call him the godfather of crank. Because he made all the hottest dances. Soldier Boy Crank That, um, uh, uh, the Shout of L.O., Get Silly. Y'all give it up for my cousin, my player partner, my friend. Um, I love him very dearly. Very, very, very dearly. Little Playboy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, 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 thank you. We here, we here, we here. Yes, sir. And you know what? And you know what? I, I had brought a, a, a ring in, Playboy. I brought a ring in today, man. You know, and it, it was, it's right off of your suggestion, too. You know, this young lady right here, man, she is ambitious. She's talented. She's gorgeous. Um, she's intelligent. And uh, she's going to wow y'all today, man. She got skills to pay the bills and whatnot. She owns her own radio station. That's why I had to have her over here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 TKO Radio. Yeah. That's how I did it. That's how I supposed to do you it right it there. right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, y'all give it up for the lovely, uh, the, the, the incomparable, Chelsea Speaks. Hey, y'all. What's happening? Yeah. Hey, Playboy. Yes, sir. Yo, yo we got company today, man. We do, man. We got, a, we got a really, really big legend in the city, man. Uh, he been doing it for a long time. One of the biggest, youngest OGs from uh, the city. I love that. Well respected all the way from the one to the six. Coming straight out the three. Mr. Kicking Shit Itself. Mr. Guapanese Itself. Y'all give it up for the million dollar kid, Jose Guapo, man. Ah. Woo! That way! Yeah. That way! Yeah. That way. That's my dog. Yeah. We, we about to learn some Guapanese today. I like the introduction. Yeah. I like the intro. That was a good yeah. intro. That was crazy, right? Yeah. Young Guapo, Young Guapo. I like the intro. Yeah. Hey, man. Listen, man. We happy to have you, man. You left niggas hanging last week. <laughs> what nah, the fuck was that about, nah, bro? Nah, nah. Then we're answering your phone and it none was, of that shit, nah, man. It was just bad communication. Was, no, matter hey, of fact, hold on, my, my Wi-Fi was on. Nah, matter of fact, it wasn't even bad communication. I, the phone that um that bro had that was calling me on, I had left that phone at another house, and I ended up sleeping, going to go sleep at a whole other house. And I never woke up on time. I ain't wake up at the time that I supposed to be in here. I woke up after, and it was just a whole thing. I ain't had a phone. But no, I ain't had a phone. Oh, no, no, we know. We know you didn't have a phone. <laughs> I didn't we, have the phone at all, so it ain't like I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't but I ain't, I, I want, I want, I ain't but interview or I ain't not come on purpose or no shit like that. I ain't had a phone. Man, did, did you bring us a gift, man? Did you bring us some macaroni and cheese? What, what's going on? I saw you had a couple noodles on you. Nah, I ain't buying no macaroni and cheese. I got some, I got some macaroni and cheese on me in my pocket, but I ain't. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I got a hold of it. I can call a hold of it. I can cook you some good macaroni and cheese. You a real Atlanta welcome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm back home three years in now, man, and it feels you good to here? be here. Huh? Yeah, Decatur. Yeah. Decatur. Mm -hmm. You know, Decatur ain't really Atlanta, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Decatur is Decatur, and Atlanta is Atlanta. You one of them niggas. If you in the, if you in Decatur and somebody asks you where you at, you gonna say Decatur. You ain't gonna say Atlanta. Yeah, like it, yeah, yeah, it's on now. It's on now. I hate when these niggas, these new, he, he a new nigga. He a new nah, nigga. Uh, who, who knew? No, he knew. He is new. Who knew? You, you well, knew. Well, that, hold on. Let me ask you this. This how, this how we know if he knew or not. Hey, uh, Jose Guapo, was you at, was you at a, uh, 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 Club Nicky? Who? Was you at Jazzy T's? Nah, I wasn't. Was you at 112? No club, but I was outside. I was outside when them clubs was still. Was like, you at Freaknik? 
Nah, my mama and daddy was. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm not that old, bro. How yeah, yeah. old y'all want me to be? Nah. nah, nah. My mama and my daddy was, my aunties and all them, they were there. That's, that's kind of lit, though. Shit. Yeah. Hey, bro. I, hey, I don't care. I don't care what. And just cause you was at them places that still don't mean you from Atlanta, cause there people that be in the club <laughs> all the time, and they be from wherever they be at. Motherfucker be on the mic. Hey, we got Detroit in your head every night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna let you take my Atlanta joy. Nah, nah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kicking games. Don't know. You know, it's love all the way around. Real niggas, play niggas, sucker niggas. Jose, I'm from uh, Decatur Everywhere. too, so I'm from the east side of town, Decatur County. Uh, and how but, you feel about it? How you feel about it? I mean, Playboy? shit. Majority of the bitches we was fucking was in the city. Majority of the clubs we was partying at was in the city. When niggas wanted to get the jug or trap, I ain't whatever gonna lie, it was, the east we went side, to the city. Though, like Decatur, like like Ellenwood and all that. They're like that's they a got, little bit farther. You about twenty that, minutes from the city that's now. Decatur, Decatur literally though. like that's, eight minutes. That's Decatur though. That's still going into the deep. Yeah, they had some big ass houses, and we used to be fucking them hoes out there. Hold on, no. I, hold on. I was one of them hoes. I'm from the east side. That's the Henry County. Uh, my mama had some money. My mama had some money. My mama had some I'm money. From the east side, yeah. Big ass houses, big ass I'm houses. From them I come from I come from the projects, apartments, shit, room with your sister type shit. I dug. I was just saying, it's a big ass house. Like in ninth grade, we started fucking with hoes and shit out there. What is it and shit? Yeah, they got some hoes out there, out that way on the east side. That's what I'm saying. It ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't want you to think like I'm saying like it's something wrong with it. Jack. I don't feel no kind of way. I, I'm, I know I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna keep on telling niggas I'm from Atlanta. You gonna have you gonna have cut while you doing a show. That's P. That's, 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 that's P. That's P. And you from the Cato. Yeah. So so now. ain't like I'm saying it. You know what I'm saying? You got to show me a nigga that's greater from Decatur. I don't even think it's greater than Decatur. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just telling shit, man. Shout, <laughs> out. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to everybody, wherever you at. Shout out to everybody where you at, cause I had, I got a big following on the east side. Yeah, yeah. we fuck so, with you out there. Yeah. They sure, fuck with sure. me heavy, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking shit. We call it in the hood. We call it talking shit, swallowing spit, don't hit. You know what I'm saying like that basically mean like we just, I'm just playing, bro. We ain't got it in that serious way. We finna fight about it. Wapo, where you become up with this lingo from, man? I swear you like a lingo legend, for real. Like, everything you say is, is some shit that is either new, or maybe because I'm from Decatur. You see what I'm saying? But when I hear you say it, it may be some shit that's just going on in your hood all the time. But on my side of town, I swear you be bringing new lingo, new terms, new words, all that type of shit. Just like how you, I ain't never heard what you just said. It just be like my way. But it sound player. Like, it's just the way of, like, who, of, it all starts with who I am, man. My demeanor, or how I, you know, what I'm saying, carry myself. So it's like, basically, I always just want to always, I always just wanted to have a possess in myself to where like, you know, what I'm saying, I want to stand out. I ain't never want to be like. I always say I'm a Martian because it's only I'm a one of nine. I'm not even a one of one. I'm a one of nine. Like, shit, never be created again. So it just be like, I just be always put my little twist on shit so it can be some regular ass shit. But I just put my twist on it or I. Think of a think of some off the wall ass shit and put my own meaning to it, and then I just start working how I work it. And every time I said I ain't gonna present it, I'm gonna be get it together in my mind first before I even present it. So by the time I do present it, it sound play hell. Like what did he just say? What the hell that mean? And then once you find out, that's how Guapanese the song come about. Mm -hmm. Just lingo. So I'm just always been somebody that. Had a way with words. That's what I call it. A way of words. A gift of gap. You know what I'm saying? I just always been like that. I like your whole movement because I know in doing some research on you, I feel like you're a linguist because of what you've been through. You know, you've been very candid about your interviews with, you know, dealing with the death of your family member and how that kind of triggered you and sent you into a spiral. Then you kind of healed. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't even healed for real. I yeah. ain't even been the same since that shit happened. Real shit like. My real fans know, like, my real fans, anybody that know me for real, like, that shit happened in, like, I want to say 2016. Mm -hmm. So anybody that can go to 2016 up to right now, I probably ain't been putting out the music the same way I used to. Mm -hmm. I probably ain't been just doing a whole lot of shit that I was doing. I probably ain't been outside like that. You know what I'm saying? Just, I've been outside and, and working and putting out music, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't been doing the same way that I used to be doing probably since 2016. Like, I ain't been the same since that shit happened. Then like a domino effect happened after that. Like, like 
so much. I lost so many more other people after that. Like that was like my first time in life really experiencing mm-hmm. like losing somebody that close. So it was like, um, I ain't really know how that shit felt before. You know when like when you're young or, and you have a great grandma or somebody that dies, on you don't really understand though. Right, so right. you know you just be at the funeral. I don't really understand. He just does. Uh, as a kid, you, you playing and everything. When you got old, when I got old, that was like the first. My, my brother Lamont, that was like the first like death that like hit me while I was old enough to understand. Like damn, I had feel to really have like they like my right hand man. Like we were calling each other twin way before that whole mm-hmm. twin twin thing was uh, even a thing. Like because he really looked like me so. Yeah, yeah, so when I lost him, like, yeah, it was like a, a piece of me left with him. Mm-hmm. And I went into, like, a real bad, like, coping stage, too. Yeah, yeah, I saw that when I started popping pills and sipping sir heavy. Shit, like, trying to cope with it, really trying to run away from my problem with drugs. That ain't really good either, but shit, yeah, yeah. And I, like I told you, a domino effect, like, my other, my other pawn of FVL5, he shot himself in the head. It was just a lot of shit happened. My grandma died, my brother mama died, my uncle, my great grandma died, man. A whole lot of shit happened that I really don't even care to really get into right now. We can switch the subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's dope though, cause I think more more artists need to talk about what they've been through in their music. So for you, yeah, yeah. you know what 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 what's in your playlist right now? Like what really brings your spirits up out of that? Like what you bumping right now? I'm bumping ESTG. Mm. Okay. ESTG, what I'm listening to right now, cause shit, he down there rapping my life on beat. Mm-hmm. Shout out, been through a lot too. You know what I'm saying? He done been through a lot, I can tell, cause I listen to Have y'all ever crossed paths or worked together? Nah, I ain't never worked with him, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think we crossed paths one time, like at birthday bash and shit like that, but nah, I ain't never worked with him. But I fuck with him though. I fuck with him, he was. I fuck with them too. I think uh, it's hard for uh, a lot of outside people from Atlanta to really pop in Atlanta. I think he definitely one of the ones. Um, I don't think it's hard for a lot of outside, outside people to pop in Atlanta. Nah, you, like, well, what it's is, like once they get they hit, they gonna come here. But I mean, they don't um, be what they, a lot of them folks in our in our clubs and our strip clubs. Club, you know, that shit. in the strip club. <laughs> when when that shit, it ain't that it ain't that it ain't working though. It ain't that. That shit ain't stream, man. I'm telling all these people that live here now, all these outside people that done moved to Atlanta, so it, like they can bring they, the Detroit people that move here can, can bring Detroit people music here. Chicago people that move here can bring Chicago people, New York, Houston, and so on and so on. They they can bring that music. Hey, T Rex, you know what time it is, right? What time is it? Man, it is everybody eats time. Everybody, it's man, man, Wizard Craig, and you know everybody eats. I'm sitting here with a legend. He go by the name of Homie Hunter. Say what's up, Homie Hunter. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Pretty smooth, man. Pretty smooth. Hey, listen, what? How did you get your name, Homie Hunter? Well, it started uh, because my nickname is Homie, and when I started doing it, go by this stuff. It was a play on coming to America. You know, so Homie Hunters, Benny Hunters, McDowell's, McDonald's. Like they got the sesame in the seeds, and we ain't got them. Yum yum sauce. I got the dumb yum sauce. That's how good. So what we got right here? We got a little sample of the hibachi. We got uh, some steak, some salmon, and some chicken with the veggies and uh, brown fried rice. Try to keep it healthy. This looks delicious. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Tell the world where they can find you. Oh, man, you can find me on um, Homie Hunters on um, Instagram and on TikTok and Homie Hunter Jones on Facebook. Or you can Google Homie Hunters and everything will come up for you. You heard the man. Everybody eats. Was it Craig? New Jack Driller City. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then don't let it be one of their birthdays or something. They go out to the club. If they have some money, huh? They can pay a DJ to play what they want to play. So shit. But what you think about uh, Atlanta artists uh, getting broke in other cities? You think as a uh, Atlanta artist, is it easier to make it in our city or go to Cali and make it in Cali or, or go to Florida and make it to Florida? I mean, shit, yeah, my, where you from, man, shit. You talking about what some people want to hear. I think the world got like eight or nine billion people in it. Right. So shit, as long as you talking about something some people want to hear, it going to land on somebody's ears and it going to work because like we're in a different time right now, bro. Like all that, I, 
if I got to make it, you ain't got to, I ain't, if you live in Cali, Texas, you ain't got to make it out of now one of them places and you can be, make, make millions. And, like, Miles is like, Miles is a prime example. Like, Miles is in front of the West Coast. There's a lot of people in Atlanta don't know his music, but I'm up. <laughs> like, fuck. I mean, he doesn't, he do numbers. He do numbers. And he's a big artist, especially on the West Coast. But Draco the Ruler, long live Draco the Ruler. He's huge. He's big in California. Nip's Hustle, long live Nip. Like, them, them folks straight, like, they don't got to. Texas, that's just like. I'm thugging all them back in the day, like, dang, Mike Jones, like, them states big enough for whether we make it out of them motherfuckers or not. New York, we gon we can make millions. Hold on. Uh, I'm back, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. Y'all noticed I'm back? Yeah. Yes, sir. Y'all, yes, sir. Hey, give it up, give it up for Mike Soul. Give it up for the celebrity boy with Mike Soul. Is it my turn? Yeah, it, it, is it me again? Is, am I ready for my close-up? Is it my turn? Okay. Let's go. All right, man. So uh, you, you didn't venture it off and um, became an A&R. You got your own artist now and whatnot. You paying it forward. How did you even get into that, my boy? Uh, just, just having an ear for music, for real. Just knowing talent. Just knowing raw talent. You know what I'm saying? Just knowing when somebody got it or they don't. You know, you make it sound so easy, too. But at the same time, bro, you can pick out a hit like it ain't nobody business. This shit is easy. Shit Put me is. on, because I've I been this trying to get easy. a song out for a minute now. And now you didn't let me know earlier that nobody want to hear my shit. That's why I ain't I ain't, tell you that. You, you ain't say that earlier? No, I didn't. You ain't, you, you ain't say it. See, you I thought you, 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 you deaf or blind. I'm, I'm deaf and blind. This here, you see? Cause, cause you can't be, you, I ain't say that. What you say? I ain't say that. I ain't say nobody want to hear that. So you do want to hear my shit? I ain't say I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, yeah. if you need me to, if you ask me to write for you, I'll write for you and we can make some shit. Go. And I've been in a video like, yeah, I'm fucking my boy Chat. Y'all hold push up. <laughs> yeah, and he got a haircut. Why we were doing the interview? Yeah. That's P. You from the Cater, not Atlanta, low. <laughs> Just pull up. <laughs> that, that is, man. I show. I'm glad that we did this today, Guapo. Nah, Doctor Pepper in a um, coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he nah, I'm trying to see thing. what's going on. I got a question. Like, what the hell made you go make them motherfucker start over? Like, oh man, um, like, hold on, all jokes aside, like yeah. that ain't the, the, you. You made it a start. That ain't. I made it a start. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So we can joke about it. Now yeah. the start. <laughs> The start. What well, man? You on some freak ass? That's some freak ass shit. Freak yeah. boy. Ass. I'm a freak ass nigga, you man. Like, you in? You in? I'm a, a freak ass nigga, you, man. You in the pussy? I already just. Oh my god. Doing whatever. You, you got to star in that motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I done I didn't took the eye and put it in some pussies before, man. Oh. Uh, yeah, it didn't got real. You can take it out. Yeah, you can take oh. it out. Whoa. Yeah, it's one hundred percent. Whoa, whoa. They gotta pay you to do that on that. Um, on the fans or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you better not do that for free, boy. Oh, shit. They, they, they got to subscribe, my boy. Yeah, on your manager. They got to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you let the eye, the eye can't pop out for free. Yeah. <laughs> the Elisa dying every time. Nah. Call that shit the eye, the eye candy. Yeah, okay. for sure. For I sure. like it. I like what you're doing right now, man. You put me on. Everybody, you everybody, a real man. Everybody, everybody, get your roll on. That's what you're doing. Ooh. Yeah. Hold on, man. Is you put? Is you goddamn sending me on fire today, or is you goddamn? Put nah, I'm just, I'm just saying, what's happening with it? Okay, so it's a glass. Cause look, right? I see everybody be coming to to you every every time somebody come to your show. They be acting like they be watching your movement or whatever. And the only thing they be want to talk about is, oh, I went two chain trying, went two chain. You and your two chain situation, bro. You done had way more shit going on than just that, bro. That's what I've been trying to tell for. All them porn stars you interviewed on This Is 50. Come on, bro. <laughs> and then there's that. And then, man, thank you. And that's what they come I appreciate that. About. I ain't gonna lie, 2 chain did go out, though. <laughs> what y'all, what the hell? I really wanna know what the hell happened. <laughs> what happened, though? All right, so uh, you know, we just had a misunderstanding, man, um, about an interview on This Is 50 one time. And, uh, you know. Um, I know you're tired of explaining this shit. 
<laughs> hey, like, hey, hey, like, hey, man, this point, bro. Hey, y'all just go we, watch, we, bro. I don't say it on some big, big ass platforms. Y'all don't know what happened yet, yeah, man. Hey, bro. Yeah, it, 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 it was on TMZ and all that. It's very Googleable. We had a misunderstanding, and I had just took it too far and said some things that I shouldn't have said when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? And, I um, did the same thing, though. Yeah. With two chain, man. What, well, you had got into it with two of them? Yeah, I said some things that I shouldn't have said when I was young, too, so. You, you care to speak on the song? Nah, I really don't. I don't really want to keep speaking on it. Like, I don't really want to, like, you know, because that type of shit, like I was just telling him, like, I know you tired of talking about We know where shit. the lingo came from. That shit be old, know. so it be like, uh, nigga don't be want to carry on, like, a nigga dwelling on that type of shit. Like, nigga moved on, got some of them going on. Like, I hate when they be making these little clickbait videos and yeah. attaching my name with any artist's name. Like, if I got something to say, I'm going to say it to a nigga straight up, like, Whatever, well, not on the internet, not on Instagram. Say it to their face. Anybody. And like you said, man. ABG, you get anybody older. get it. Nah, I'm, I don't give a damn how old I get. It's still, you can still get it wherever we at. Whatever. <laughs> I be 50 years old, you still can get pop. Oh, this shit. What? <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to go move on with my life. And, and what, like, I don't want no more smoke with nobody. Man, and, you know, I just want to goddamn chill with some nice we girls. We want all the smoke. Not, <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of all the smoke, you got your own strand now. Oh yeah, I got the Guapanese. I got uh, Guapanese. Um, I got the Guapanese Lotto. Got the Guapanese Lotto on the way for sure. Okay, who approached you about this uh, situation? I approached myself. Mm. Well, I approached my brain, and then we got to thinking like, you supposed to have a strand, bro. You tripping? Mm. I got it right. Got with my growers and shit like that because I know growers and shit like. That. On the west, you got it right. Twenty twenty four, look out for it. And I'm out of um, THC lemonade with it. Ooh. Yeah, and the gummies, all that, oh, yeah, and some more. Yeah, we yeah, gonna have the whole setup. Get you right, rolling trays, all that. Yeah, That's a big one stop shop, job. One stop shop. Y'all gonna smoke on this show? Yeah, you can light it up. I ain't seen no weed. I ain't nobody in smoking smoke. that. Yeah, we don't smoke. Yeah. That's why I said y'all might don't smoke on this show. No, no, no. Yeah, that, yeah, this, uh, yeah. I'm we don't really. The show. Yeah, man. I, well, I appreciate that shit, man. You, you, uh, you looking out for? That's what they got these little vapes for. Yeah, that's okay. These motherfuckers are kid, though. Yeah, that, that's what they've been saying. I sold my soul back in September. We gonna ball forever. I can dig it. I can dig it, man. How much was it? Man, uh, you on some politically correct shit, man. What you want me? You Cut want me to go Jack? in? You want me to go, up, in? Jack, go you in? You want me to go in? Go in, Jack. You right, in? This ain't Vlad, man. Uh, <laughs> Cut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it goes nothing. <laughs> we having a conversation, bro. This ain't necessarily like an interview. It's like a conversation. Because it's my first time actually seeing you in person. So you got to put me down about shit I don't know about. As I'm putting you down about shit you don't know about. Yeah, hey, man. Well, yeah, 100%. But you're not know, like at the, at the and same time. And you got to put me on some of them porn star so hoes, too. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? You my punter now. Hey, that's the first thing. You ain't gonna fuck with Jack. Yeah. A hundred <laughs> shots. <laughs> <laughs> if a nigga fuck with Jack, a hundred shots. Hey. <laughs> Hoes on three behind Jack. Hey, hey, I appreciate it. When you in Atlanta, need... when you in, when you in Atlanta, not Decatur. When you in Atlanta, you from zone three. Gotcha. <laughs> but, uh, but when I'm back Guapo home. Guapo stamp that. When, when I'm back home in Decatur, where, 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 where I'm at? Decatur, Decatur where is greater. Yeah, 100%. Lord. <laughs> Why the hell he say Decatur where is greater? Then he say Southside. Yeah, he did. That's, That's when you got riders for you. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Let's get, let's get into what we getting into, though. Yeah, 100%, Prop man. Prop my feet up like on um, Prop your feet up. Floyd right? Mayweather. Yeah, prop your feet up. Hey, man, so, you know, um, one of my um favorite songs is the one with you and... um. Um, the late great, uh, 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 take off. Yeah, take off. Run it up. And uh, yep, run it up. Yeah, man. And my free, man, uh, Wine and Flucci. Yeah, free wide fan, Lucci. Long live take off. That's fucked up. What the rock game on came to, man. But, how do you feel about that, man? Um, about I, about uh, how I feel about. I'm gonna speak on how I feel about rappers dying and going to jail. Then I'm gonna speak on how I feel about take off dying. It's like it's shit. I just feel like it's like basically like um. The rock gang ain't got fit with street niggas, so it like shit. Niggas ain't, you, you get a street niggas, it's a lot of money, ain't nobody gonna change overnight. 
So you can't really fault them, you know what I'm saying, for when they go into jail. But when they like some dumbass shit, you gotta be like, damn, that's a dumbass nigga. He just crashed that. But with the deaths and all that shit, I just feel like, shit, niggas is beefing. It just be fucked up for a nigga that died over there for real though. But but like when it come with beef, death come with that. So you gotta understand that. Like you gotta know what you sign up for before you sign up for it. You jump out here in these streets. That's why they got a sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel about the, the rappers that dying, all the like the shit that happened in the streets. If it's just if it's just some street shit, it's some street shit. And he carried on into music. But all uh, just a just senseless killing or just a nothing really and the beef ain't about nothing. The but beef really don't be about nothing for real. All this shit really be stemming from a bitch. Uh I wanna I wanna I'm willing to bet that like ninety percent of worldwide beef, I don't give a damn all the way back down to Putin and goddamn whoever over there, that she got something to do with a bitch. Always, always. She got something to do with a bitch. Nigga be pillow talking, laying up. These bitches, these bitches be playing some major roles and a lot of deaths. And, and don't give a fuck. Uh, man, don't give a fuck. And they will move on and keep on fucking the, the next nigga after you dead or in jail. For sure. You better and, know it. That yeah. Why, you better know it. D- defend, defend some bullshit if you want to. You have to. That's one thing I be trying to tell like a lot of the young people and stuff today. You know what I'm saying? Niggas the cr- I don't mean to cut you off. You got to crash out about the yo. Yeah. They'll crash out about yeah, the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About the hole, man. Hey, man, that puss never been that serious to me, man. No. Nah, man. I that, ain't and, crashing and, out. With that being like said, do you be putting your girl online? I don't got no girl. Like a girlfriend? Yeah, girlfriend. Like a fish official girlfriend? What? Somebody I don't got you... one, for real, for real. I don't got one. I need one, though, like, for real, for real, to find balance. But I don't got one. But, yeah, I will, um... Would you promote her? Like, cause you know, once again, you just said I mean, a lot like, of that shit be by bitches and stuff. And so, I mean, you know, when, like I went high. It wouldn't be no hidden gem that I got a girlfriend, but it wouldn't be like, like put on my Instagram and shit like that. Yeah, things it's like my that. Social media. So what she need to be on her for? She got her own. <laughs> like I'm saying, but if we go on a vacation or something. Yeah, we, we take some pictures while we out the country. Yeah, I post those pictures. If she had a show, we backstage. You know. Shit like that, yeah, I post a picture with my girl on my page, but I don't think my girl just need to be on my page, it's my page. She got Instagram. 100%, now, how you feel about them putting you on their page and say, hey, Jose Guapo, my man? It's already gonna be known, I just told you I'm not hiding my girl if I got one, so it's gonna already be known that I'm her man, so she can post what she wanna post. She gonna know how I move, and she gonna know what's proper to post, when, when, what time at, what time, it's proper to post. She gonna know all those type of little shit. We gonna, you know, that come with getting to know each other and shit like that. So, mm-hmm. you know I mean, everything gonna be right. World. What kind of women are you into? What's, what's your type? I don't got no type. <laughs> <laughs> so, big, small, is it like a criteria of the type of, does she gotta have a job or do you like famous chicks and sh- Do you, are you, are you in the dating in the, in the industry? Nah, I ain't really in the dang in the industry, famous shits and all that. You know, we just have fun with them. Mm. Like we we in the industry, so we already know what's going on. Both sides of the parties know what's going on. So let's just have fun. So we ain't gotta be tripping, you know what I'm saying? Like That's why That's why. Who put that, you up on this? You know what I'm saying? Like the Usher song, we ain't good, good, but we still good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't got it all the way in bad. Like That's you, right. know, you start shit off and you start misleading and all that. See, I don't mislead. That ain't what I do. Mm. I'm straightforward, I'm blunt, I'm nonchalant, I don't care. I ain't biting my tongue, you know, that shit'll start bleeding. Okay. I ain't bite it a little too hard, so. Okay. Now I you, ain't, you, I ain't biting my tongue, so I'm gonna say what I wanna say, I'm gonna let them know, like, up front, they gonna know what they signed up for. That's why I, my favorite saying there, man, just know what you signed up for before you sign up for it. Makes sense. You dig? Now, when it come to dating, I'm gonna take her on a roller coaster. <laughs> Goliath. <laughs> Literally, we talking Six Flags or what we talking roller coasters? Man, we talking Six Flags, man. Whatever the biggest theme park, they got the most roller coasters in it. That's what we talking about. Goliath. What about to the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> Is that why I don't, I, I don't ate that before? I don't ate that before. I don't really know but I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, it's been a long ass time like that. Cheesecake oh, Factory. If, but if, I'm a nigga that if I wanna go to the Cheesecake Factory, we going to the Cheesecake Factory. Like, and if she got something to say about it, she ain't gonna have nothing to say about it. I just told you, like, 
if I don't want to go to the CK Fetter, we going to the CK Fetter. Unless it's some shit like, now if it's something at the CK Fetter, now, now if you got a taste for something that the CK Fetter don't sell, that's when I'm making compromise. That makes sense. But if you talking about some regular ass shit, some Alfredo or whatever, I don't think I ever had from CK Fetter before with like they wings and they Alfredo. And that cheat cake, I don't really know everything else the cheat better sell. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I would eat Ben and Hunter, and I would eat five star um, restaurants when I was in the middle school when my daddy got out of jail. Like, I would eat Ben and Hunter, all that old type shit, Houston, spinach dip, all that old type shit, Chantrell. I eat your little niggas up like a Chantrell's plate. Yeah, we ain't all that old type of shit. My dad got a jail. He, put, he been putting, it, putting us up on fly shit, fly food and shit like that. But I feel like I, I still eat like Longhorn. Like Longhorn, like late night on the mm-hmm. on the way to, at, we at the studio and man, go Longhorn. It's steak motherfucker with mad potato. I eat steak and mad potato. That's all I really eat. Steak, mad potato, lamb chop, mad potato. Hey, you, uh, you know what's crazy shit. about what you're saying right now? I ain't trying to take a, uh, uh, this, this actually, this porn star chick. <laughs> she, I told her, hey, she, cause she want to stay one night. I'm like, let's go to Longhorn or let's go to Outback. She like, ugh. Not Outback. Longhorn, Outback. Outback. We ain't going Outback though. I ain't, I ain't going Wait, what's wrong with Outback? It just look burnt out. <laughs> like when you pull up one of them other Outbacks, like, hell nah, we ain't, I don't even. Then you just look at the, to look at the cars or just the environment. Mm. Man, nigga, you bougie as fuck, man. I'm not bougie, bro. I'm from that, projects, bro. Hey, like, you feel the same with I Chelsea? Eat, I eat, I, I cut up I pickles, do. I cut up pickles and put vinegar and um, black pepper in a bowl, bro. Like, that, I'm, that's I'm what you're doing? Bro. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, that's how you moving right now? Yeah, like, I'm from the trenches, bro. Like, we still eat fried bologna. They might fry, uh, cut the sausage down the middle, flip them over like a butterfly. Drop it on the grease, motherfucker. We eat the we fry chicken, get the get the noodle pack, season chicken seasoning, season the chicken with that pack. That shit sound nasty to the motherfucker. That motherfucker good like a woman, that mother, like a little pepper. Pepper. <laughs> I'm putting you down. Hey man, listen man. Yeah, I'm you gonna learn stop, you learn that from jail show. right here. Nah, then learn that from jail. How can you put chicken on? Well, they doing it D-Day, but then hey, on this show, have you cook your chicken? Cool, that's fine. Cook how you cook it, <laughs> but add, add, add this seasoning. Okay, the put them chicken on. seasoning from the chicken noodle okay. ramen pack. You know what I'm saying? Get yep. the seasoning out of there and add that to your seasoning on your fried chicken. That's what that makes sense. Though. I'm saying I ain't put you down. I'm saying when old Mark Cuban, yeah, I'm ready to go shank tank, shark tank, <laughs> all that behind my idea. Yeah, it's up. What you call it? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how to make the little meals I know how to make. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They get you by, motherfucker. Okay. All right. Why you have, motherfucker? <laughs> what, what you cooking for breakfast, my boy? Are we going French toast? Yeah, we going French toast. Sasha, motherfucker. Cheese, motherfucker. Depending on how home I am, I vote want something a little thick. We might go grits, you know what I'm saying? Tea grits, you know? Mm. If your life was a movie, what would it be called? Blow. Blow? <laughs> you, got, you, got to, you got to explain that, because I, I seen this movie with that white boy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that nigga done blowed his nose off. <laughs> Why blow? And who would you get to play you? Mm. Huh? Why you calling your movie Blow? And who would you get to play you? And what is it about? Cause it's just like betrayal after betrayal. Mm. When you a good, cause, cause Joy was a good guy. He had a good heart. That boy got him fucked up. Having a good heart. That way he can't show love out here in these streets. Ain't no love, man. I ain't got love for nobody. Let your mama love you. I ain't the one that gonna love you. And hey, they did my boy George wrong. Yeah, they bro. did him wrong, man. They did they my did nigga my George, George wrong. wrong. And fuck that bitch Penelope Cruz Stupid too, man. Bitch. I, I, I swear to God, I don't like that hoe to this day. Like I never met her as an actor, man. But fuck that. That bitch. just cause of that role. Yeah, for, just cause of that role. This bitch jump out on the expressway. First of all, he trying to ride the man dick while he driving on the expressway. 
who the fuck can do that? Like, how the fuck I'ma see? Like, you tripping already. Now we start swerving. When we start swerving, police jump man. I got a whole brick in the trunk. Then you jump out the car when I do pull over. You jump out the car and work the move like I just been being on you. And then tell the police I got a kilo in the trunk. Man, bitch, I went piss on you if he was on fire. Hey, bro, I, <laughs> that bitch need to, be, need to be beheaded for that shit. Man, I hate that hoe still to that day, man. I don't, I don't think I ever seen another movie she played in. That, that shit <laughs> fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> like Penelope Cruz, like that's her real name. I ain't, I'm not even saying her actress name. Like, I, I, yeah, that's how much I, I hate her. Damn. Yeah, I fuck with Angelina Jolie. Yeah, Mwah. yeah, Lord Croft, yeah. Lord Tomb Raider off in this yeah. motherfucker. Mm. Yes, 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 yeah. And that nigga Diego was a piece of shit. Just yeah, betrayal, bro. Like that's a, and, and Lord, he just got all, like, like I don't been in a situation where my Lord to got taken for granted. Really? Mm. On that level, I ain't really going for betrayal though. But like, you know, when a nigga do some shit, like you know what I mean, some little slit lane shit, he be like, damn, bro. I thought. Mm. Thought we was better than that type shit. Yeah, yeah. You know I'm saying? I don't type nigga that can peep it and fall back before I let it get too bad. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Detroit, De De Jeff Betrayal, De Diego betrayed him. Who else betrayed him? Pee Wee, Pee -wee Herman. The, the gay, um, yeah. The gay, the gay plug. Mm -hmm. Plug. Uh, what his name was? I forget what it was. Pee Wee Herman, I forget was, what it was. Damn, what his name was. I don't man. know what his name was. Yeah, the funny. For, Derek, Derek for real. real. Derek for real. Yeah. Derek for real. That's what the fuck his name was. Yeah, yeah. He's a piece of shit. I, I had something else I want to call him, but you know, we got to be cool. Yeah, with, please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> be cool. uh, but Let yeah. him live. Let him live. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Uh, I Pee Wee got... Herman died? Really? Uh, when? That ain't got nothing to do with me, man. Um, oh, carry man. on. What were we talking about? I didn't get the message. I don't like him. Betrayal. Hold on, we did. Hold on, there's a difference between Pee Wee Herman and Derek for real. Now. The real Pee Wee Herman? Yeah. Yeah. You ever, you ever seen Pee Wee's Playhouse? Oh no, I thought that was his. I thought Pee Wee Herman was the guy who we were talking about in the movie, government name. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, he played him. Oh, that was Pee Wee Herman. That was Pee Wee Herman. So Pee Wee Herman gay? No, he did. He did. He might. In be real gay. life, the guy, the guy, the guy, guy who I'm talking yeah. about, he was gay in the movie. That's Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. So it's Pee Wee Herman gay. Yes, I think he gay. I don't, I don't want to believe he that. He did go to jail I for masturbating so, yes. in the movies. He was just because yeah, you jerk off in the movies center. don't mean you gay. I didn't did that plenty of times. Next to a little kid. Nah, he was, hey, he was hey, 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 Pedophile Jeffrey, he fall in line with Jeffrey Dummer. We have no yeah. love for them tight nigga, man. Hey, speaking of that, I'm glad you just brought up Jeffrey Dummer, right? Because, you know, it's been this question, you know, niggas been asking like a lot of rappers and everything when it comes to the, uh, quote unquote snitching mm. and shit. If Jeffrey, if you knew a, a dude, Jeffrey Dummer was living next door to you and was eating niggas' asses and shit. And nah, we ain't, nah, we not calling the on... cops. No, we ain't calling the cops. We gonna torture his stupid ass. Yes. We gonna go kidnap him and torture his stupid ass ourselves. We'll torture him. How would you torture him? Man, I, don't, I can't get into it. Uh, they might come for me <laughs> if I give you all the ideas. Oh, I don't see a lot of movies. <laughs> <laughs> you a wild girl, Chelsea. Sorry. You a wild girl. I want to know his definition of torture was. You know, I got a different definition. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Hey, man. <laughs> we going to get you some therapy. Shit. Man. Do. Don't even. I can't even say that. I can't even say nothing of the type of shit. But, hey. Didn't know he got them reap everything he saw. A one hundred percent, I can dig that. That nigga was deadly, bro. That shit he did to that nigga that was deaf, bro. That was crazy. That one right. And why bro. he had to be black? You know, they, you know, the artists and I mean, he, I mean, he directors and all that shit. Yeah, they, 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 out of all the motherfuckers in there, that he could have got damn, uh, they could have made. But death. Guess what though, he also was a model nigga, so he was, he had to be the good looking guy too. Yeah. So he was. Uh, we black, we good looking. So we gotta take the good sometimes with the bad. You know what I mean? I guess. Sometimes the good might 
out way to bad. I, I guess. But nah, that wasn't the only black boy person he did that to though, was it? It was two. It was a deaf dude, and it was the other dude was uh, the other black dude. Woman. Yeah, he was a stripper. He did, or something. He did it to some, he did yeah. it to some um, white people too, so it wasn't like no race thing. He went for low income people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't like no race thing. It was just on some, you know, um, his sexual choice thing. Mm, mm. Thick motherfucker though. One hundred percent. Yeah, one one hundred percent. So you know, there's um, everybody snitching now. Rappers change, you know, and you know it seems like it's being more acceptable, and people are still able to sell records and all that other shit. What 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 is you? Uh, Lil Duval had said that something it's like snitching used to be. Um, it's a way of promotion now. It don't affect nobody in 2023. Is just a as a uh, way of promotion. Do you agree the same thing? I don't agree with I don't agree with nothing. I don't even know it. I don't even know what it cause you repeating something that somebody else said, so you ain't even gonna repeat it verbally. So I, I can't say I agree. And because they got nothing to do with you, they just got something to do with the question. It's I been, like the way you it did it. It been asked from you know what I'm saying off of what somebody okay, else. Okay, well, let me do it this but way. Nah, I got you, I got you. I okay. Got you. Uh, give me, give me then. Um, uh, I mean shit, yeah, like you know, you know, labels like they know they can market with that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta look at it from the business side, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. The labels know that. Could you, jail, could you do a feature? If the money feature right for it with somebody that didn't, um, that snitched before, that had papers on them? If that's if a V, if that's a V. Mm. It ain't snitching if you a civilian, you know, right? Yeah, you just, you told, but you ain't a rat. You know, like you ain't a snitch, but you still snitch. Like, okay. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that snitch is just another word for told. Gotcha. So okay. you still snitch, but you you're not a rat. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You was a citizen. Mm. You supposed to do that. Right, right. You pay your taxes. If you walk out your house, you walk outside your house and you see something like a girl, a grandma, or old lady, or a child getting harmed, call the police. Really, keep it real, shit. We, it's Atlanta. You can care. Take action on your own and pop that stupid ass. <laughs> Don't do that. Just call the police, kids. The Just question, call the, the question was about um, yeah. what, the snitching in the rap game? Yeah, snitching in the rap game. You know, you, like I said, uh, people, would you do a, do a uh, feature with somebody that was even, that would, had that on their on back? Nah, not really. Burn you out right there, cause I, I'm a street artist. I'm from the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, it depends on like what I said. Like I do one with a citizen. Like I look at six nine as a citizen. I look at him as a, I still look at him as a citizen too. Playboy, how you feel? I, I agree. I look at him as a citizen. I never took none of that shit serious from the jump. Like me personally, I never took none of that shit serious. That blood, gang bang shit, none of that shit. All that shit was a true and no image. That was a, they made that they created that as a creative player. He was a citizen the whole time. I'm not giving him a pass for snitching. But I'm saying he was never from what I'm from anyway. So it's like you're a citizen for real. You just got put over here with some people, and you didn't understand what came with that life. So you got caught up in some shit. Yeah, that was his image, and, and that's how we know he was a fucking citizen for real. Cause that's. By you, by you getting caught up in the shit, of how you got caught up in the shit, and that's how you and niggas it, yeah. played with you and all that old type of shit. That's how we knew you went street and all that old shit. Mm. All that shit rolled itself out like an album roll out. It showed itself. But now nah, I went to a nigga. A, I went to a song with a street artist that supposed to be talking about this and that, and supposed to be standing on this and that, and he read it. Nah. Mm -mm. And we was talking earlier about you, the, uh, you being an A&R and you got your artists and everything. Go ahead, get them a shout out, man. Nick, niggas that you didn't put on and- um, You start getting to the shout out, it makes it seem like the interview getting, getting over with. No, that don't necessarily mean that. Uh, no, uh, it mean uh, that we, we, we didn't answer that question already. Oh, uh, well- We didn't yeah. answer that. Shout out to um, YNS, LaCour, Shine Too Hard. Come on, put- They on the way, um, matter of fact. Come on, you think they ain't want that? Matter of fact, um, LaCour project come out tomorrow, I think. Yeah, for sure. Come October 20 something, man. Look at LaCour, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll be prepared for that. You dig? 
I'm finna get ready to put some new music out too, but I'm doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes right now, so man, uh, y'all get it, y'all get some music from me when y'all when y'all get some music from me. I'm, I'm, you don't sound too enthusiastic about putting music out these days, is it? I mean, like it ain't it ain't that. It's just like, bro, you get so many other ways to make music in the music business without actually putting music out. Are you inspired? Merch, all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm inspired. They print money every day. I'm always inspired, motivated mm. to go get it. What do you mean? Mm. <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. We ain't never satisfied. We ain't never content. None of that shit. We always want more. We come from that. Next. What do you pray for? What I pray for? Yeah, what do you pray for? Day morning, I pray for uh, another day. I pray for like, my family. You know, you're supposed to pray for your neighbors, too, so I be praying for, like, the world and shit. Without actually praying for the world, I just say my neighbors, and I mean the whole world. I be praying for my neighbors. I be praying for, uh, I can't say, I can't say one of the things I be praying for, but, um, uh, I don't really be praying for a lot of shit. I just be praying and, like, giving thanks for yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause people, there were a lot of people be fucked up and thinking like, um, if they hit a railroad or they get to a, like a stop sign in life or something like, that, they be just thinking like it's over with or some shit like that. Like, and they don't even be thinking about how far they probably been and came from where they started and no shit like that. Like they ain't even grateful or, or, or giving thanks for what they do got. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like. I be giving thanks and being grateful for what I do got and what I did accomplish. And, you know what I'm saying? All the blessings I have, I have done received. Shit, if I don't receive another blessing, no more life on good. I mean, I don't got shit. I could have been dead. I could be dead. I could be dead in jail. God's good. So I'm ready to pray for, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even good to just only pray for something. Mm. And I ain't even super spiritual or religious, but it ain't even good. Like, that's the only time you're going to pray when you want something. Mm -hmm. Like, you should just pray to just holler at God. Like, I kick it like I'm shit. Like, I'm just hollering at the bro. Mm -hmm. I might just nod my head someday. Like, people be people be thinking I be nodding at them. They don't even know. I'm nodding at God. Like, what's up, bro? Yeah. I'm nodding at I'm talking to God, though. Yeah, I'm deep, bro. No, 100%. Yeah. Oh, that I do what I want. I say what I want. <laughs> I'm a pop star. I'm going to pop. That's what I'm going to do. That's how you categorize yourself? Nah, that ain't, that ain't how I categorize myself. I'm just going to pop. Fuck it. You, oh, so you trying to do some uh, songs emo. with? I'm emo. Oh. I'm goth. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. Batman then. Returns. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then. I got to go see what's happening. I got to go, I gotta go check on um, Gotham City <laughs> when I leave here. The Batmobile outside. Hey, you right. know what's the wildest shit about uh, the, the whole Batman situation? And I always try to tell people this too. Batman had to be out of his goddamn mind just to be going out, avenging motherfuckers and <laughs> shit. No superpowers. And, and Batman was getting his ass whooped. Yeah. Hey, but you know the thing though about, about Batman though? What's that? He, he he ain't a superhero. He's he, a vigilante. He like a he like a yeah, like he like a super villain. Super villain. Yeah, like he ain't like a superhero. Like, you know, he gonna come say today and all that, but he ain't got no, like you said. That wasn't no what power. he was trying to do. You know, like, he ain't got no power. The only power he got is family rich here. Mm -hmm. I don't fuck rich as a motherfucker. See, I watched all that shit. I watched the Joker movie and when they showed the story about the Joker. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, I think I'm the Joker. I might have a smile on the whole time, but you never know what I'm up to. Mm. So I'm big, I'm big. I'm big into like Joker and you know what I'm saying Dragon Ball Z, but that's another story. But yeah, yeah, though, like Batman, what the fuck type of powers he had? That why that why he had that ass whooped then. Um, with Bane? Nah, he he came back beat Bane ass. But Bane put it on his ass. Yeah, though, Bane re rearranged his face. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> I ain't never we ain't nobody never seen the mask break. Bruh. Nah, bruh. but look though, what I was saying about nah, he, Superman walked his ass when they went in that movie when they had to go up under the water and get Batman Superman and all Superman. that. Man, Superman seen Batman. Batman ain't want no smoke either. Batman knew what was up. 
Everybody, everybody went and tried to go for Batman. All the other love Marvel. I don't know if they Marvel, whatever they are. DC, DC yeah, DC, DC. Yeah. Flash, all them, man. Superman, one stunt, none of that, yeah, man. Wonder Woman, none of that. Wonder Woman right there looking good as hell. Pussy Prince showing. Hardcore. <laughs> Hardcore. Man, Aquaman, he ain't stunt nobody but Batman. Like, boy, bring your pussy ass over here, boy. You think I forgot? You that nigga. You wouldn't got that crook tonight, boy. You ain't got that crook tonight. Yeah, but I fucked that shit. I told you I watched a lot of movies. I never seen that movie, but in the comic book, I definitely read that back I, in my childhood days. Batman killed Superman. I ain't never. He I never read the child. I never. I never looked at comic books and none of that shit for real. I used to draw Dragon Balls and shit like that in school and like middle school, but I never looked at comic books. I only started watching the shit when it came to like the actual human people playing the story. Yeah. I ain't even used to watch the cartoon. But in the movie, shit. he killed them though, or he or he just got beat up. Yeah, he killed them. Oh. He killed them in the movie because. Oh, hold on, you saying Batman killed Snoop, uh, Superman? He ain't really kill him like the other nigga that they that, that they were fine, yeah. kind of like killed him. But it was like he went and got the kryptonite and shit like that. Hey, you, he went you, to discover. He went and I, made, he made, he, t- he took his time out his day to go find the kryptonite just for Superman. <laughs> hey, yeah, you trying to do it? Now that's a motivation right there. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. how he even knew where the fuck to go get that shit at. You know what I'm saying? Like that's some, that's some Jada Pickett, Will Smith shit. Mm. <laughs> that is definitely. Like just going out your way to do something. That's definitely all the way that. He told y'all with the lingo. You look, you look savage with it. Nah, that's just some going out your way to just. Hey, can I we just, go back to Dragon Ball Z? Nah, Jada Pickett, you say she Come said on. dope. <laughs> I don't believe that's that shit. I don't believe that shit. I don't believe, I can't imagine Jada Pinkett in the trap, but I was talking to my homeboy. I'm in a bind, Nate. I used to um, sell dope, but you in the bind. But, but you know what, you know, you know I'm what? I'm confused at this point, Carisha, please. You know what though, yeah. you know what, it do count, it do kind of count, like if you was just only sold like three pieces, pieces of crack and shit, you, you kind of sold dope a little yeah, bit, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, you sold three pieces of crack, you sold dope, but you ain't know, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just saw, yeah, it, it probably wasn't no big deal. Big deal. It doesn't matter how much dope you sold. It doesn't matter how much now you sold it. You sold it. You sold it. You sold it. Yeah. So we got to give her a pass on yeah, that. But like the way she said she it, no king pen there, but I don't the know way she, she said it though. I don't, I she don't was trying know. to say it like I, she was selling it. I don't, I don't even know the way she said it. You know, it just come across the stream. Yeah, it was very extreme because you can't imagine her doing that and then going and turning to being a different world and all that shit. I don't believe that. I don't believe that because. Madonna, all type of hoes going to see Tupac while he was in jail. Bro. But uh, on the same token, though, Jada Pinkett was finding that motherfucker, though. Oh, hell, she won. Yes, she was. Yes, she, yes, she was. Yes, yes the fuck she, she was. was. You tripping. That's when them little short girls was in town. Low, low down, dirty shame. Yeah. A different world. A different world than when she was Leela. Leela. My, my P caught up. I turned shit eater down. Shot my nigga set from Memphis. Man, she a shit eater. Small head, bald head. I'm oh, cool. <laughs> that shit can't be talking about that either. I ain't, what, what, what yeah, you had just said? What, what happened? I missed what, that. I'm going to say what I want to say. What did you say? I ain't hear it. I missed it. I just was saying, I was just and saying, like, say, I don't yeah, think, I was just saying, like, I wasn't never like, I wasn't never like, I never had like, no, never thought like she was a super beautiful woman or something like that. Like, no. I ain't, not, not, no, I ain't trying to get counseled in the interview or no shit like that. So I ain't no, taking away from. No more, I'm not taking yeah. away from her beauty or nothing yeah. like that. I'm just saying, saying like, that she ain't all that. Like, okay. She ain't all that. I'm saying like Halle Berry, like if we gonna go short hair, like that ain't what we doing. We just saying we I'm think saying, that she cute. That's I don't. All. I'm saying I don't. She ain't ugly, but I'm saying I don't. I don't agree with y'all. Got you. And, and, and well, I, well, I, well, I don't agree with the emphasis. The emphasis. Yeah, you saying we going too crazy over this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. say we, we, we was. They had some shit out there to run that. Like, that bitch was bad to the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah. Nigga, I stand on that shit. She was goddamn bad, goddamn. <laughs> Did, only thing is, she just didn't say so much stupid shit. It just make her look crazy. But she's still bad. Even if we take away everything she said, it's still. Mm. Nigga, you will still fuck her. You don't get your ass out of here going with that shit. You, I want to shoot my shot. Okay. Same thing, same thing. If she busted wide open, yeah. you hitting that. Yeah, come yeah. on, man. Come in front on here, Guapo man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might. We know about you, nigga. Yeah, I might hit a roll too. Oh lord. They, they, they come, 
And, and you ain't wrong for it. And you ain't wrong for it. And you ain't wrong for it. They're busting on purpose. For, if, and you ain't for, wrong for it. Don't care. Don't care. That's 300 million, bro. Whatever it is, whatever it is, I just do it, just be doing. Yeah, <laughs> why not? It's a it's a great conversation piece inside the goddamn barbershop. Yeah. Come on now. Hey, too much. And then there's I, that. Yeah, I definitely do it though. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. We probably like the same height. Oh, definitely y'all are the same height. Nah, she's she short. She's shorter now. She like what, five? She like, uh, like 4'11". 411. 411. Oh, yeah, she in trouble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't stand a chance if we if we the same if we if we if you short or same height anyway then my height range you don't stand a chance. I can dig it. I can dig it. So then what's your type? Because you said you don't have a type. We we know you wouldn't do Jada. So who, who is? Type? Yeah, yeah. Who bad to you? Yeah. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Cause you, you can know. say somebody you, ain't you, shit. But you can say, but you don't like. Then what do you like? It, it's, it was so easy. For you to say what you didn't like. <laughs> it's too, but it's so much out there to say what I do like. So what top three things just just stand out to you first when you meet a chick? Throw somebody at them. Throw somebody at them. Let's see. Cause y'all know I all mean, it ain't nothing but the, me when, you first, when you first Probably meet them, when you first meet a chick, it ain't nothing but the looks that you can go off of. Hmm. Okay, so do you like That's big everybody. titties or small titties? You got cool, you know, titties all right. Are titties you don't matter. Are you or no. ass man? 5500 gets your titties done. You know, BBLs, all that shit, all that shit cool, but you know, I like natural too. Okay. I'm more of a, I'm more, you talking more of a breast or what? And niggas gonna breast stop hating on BBLs. Which one you like? Love me a BBL. I'm more of a, if she wet or not. Okay, mm. so that's a type, okay. Yeah, so. I, I, I ain't never had nobody no dry pussy before. <laughs> that's never happened. I don't know about that. Uh-huh. Yeah, be surprised. I ain't. Surprised. I've ne- yeah, I've never. Maybe it be the, in- nah. Maybe it be the condoms though. It could be the condoms too. Hey, when the pussy feel too real, like, I got to make sure that condom still on. Like, hold on, I can't, we didn't butt. Yeah, that's oh, a, this, that's, this pussy yeah, feel that, real yeah, in yeah, the yeah, mouth. Yeah, 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 that's a different situation. Yeah, right now. yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, done had a lot of them cases. Like, damn, them all like bust or what? Yeah, that shit feel yeah, you crazy. Gotta check, you got to check, make sure everything Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> You got to reach make up sure in there and shit, go to pull that nut back sure out of there, man. Yeah, yeah, you definitely got to do that. You definitely got to do that. Word, word. I mean, you, 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 you said you, we, we were talking before that, you said you, uh, I don't go know. Go say it, nah, say it. Nah, you might He do. asked me, he asked me. Uh, I asked him how many points are you for? And I said, you know, on, on, um, as an estimate, rough estimate, about like 21, some shit like that. Yeah, on, macho, on. top row, <laughs> top row. But it's porn stars. It's all. It's like it almost. You got don't me count. beat though. Yeah, yeah. You got me beat. Yeah, I'm man. I'm still you know, in the. Um, but if, but what is what? Did, I'm what, still in the single digits. But if, what did what is what is, what really like you know? I think all women are porn stars. No, I, I feel that way. Every woman. No man, you still got some bitches out here tomorrow. They don't suck dick. That's you not that's got crazy. Some bitches out here tomorrow. They ain't do. They don't do anal. That's you still crazy. Got some bitches out here that, that don't. I'm just Wait, so does anal make you a porn star? Like, if you nah, don't. I ain't no, saying just that. I'm just saying it's, these it's, these are the things that porn stars are don't. willing to do. Okay, like they still make They're you willing, a porn star down. You don't take it in the ass. A porn star yeah. down there ready, willing to whatever hole, yeah, whatever hole you want to put it yeah. in. You can put it in the hole. You can put it in a porn star nose. Yeah. What point. you ain't gonna eat my ass? <laughs> Shit. What? God damn! Like, you on that type of time? So nah, every woman is not a porn star. Mm, every woman got infatuations of being fucked like. Porn star, but they're mm. not a porn star. Dude, if a woman uh get fucked on her OnlyFans, do that make her a porn star? No. Make her an entrepreneur. That doesn't make her that doesn't make her somebody that sounds So we wouldn't consider Kim K a, a porn star because she blew up off of her porn being leaked. That wasn't really a porn. I wasn't satisfied you with it. That, it wasn't a porn. It was just, it just a leak. It was just really like, it's like, a no for me. If y'all know the backstory for real, Ray J and Kim K were really fucking around. Like they yeah. was really mm-hmm. together. Like yeah. you know, this you know, Kim yeah, K used vibe. to be up under Brandy. Mm-hmm. She was his you know, so stylist, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's like And she stole some money from bitch. her too. That was a bitch. They just that just random girlfriend, boyfriend, feminine they self having sex. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then you know they out there. In LA that make you a porn star, bro. They out there. Nah, not really. Cause they just out there in LA and Hollywood. Somebody probably ran the idea about them that they can get get a certain amount of money. Ooh, ooh. 
that that porn, that well, that little that little sex scene or whatever, that shit changed <laughs> Kim K life. <laughs> so shit, maybe a lot of y'all need. Would you do that? What? Uh, uh put out a sex tape. Yeah, I put out a sex tape. Showing like, your face. Yeah, if, I, if, they, if they give me the right bag. What what what's the right bag? Five million dollars. Yeah, I'd be that much. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I was asking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what's the what's the lowest you'll go? What's the lowest you'll go? I ain't got nothing like I know what I'm doing. I'm precious, so they're like five, five, yeah, so a thousand dollars. Hell no. Nah, so the fuck? like ten thousand? Hell no. A hundred thousand. A hundred or better at least. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hell, yeah, when you gonna do that? Uh, hey, well, you know that shit. Adam twenty two did let somebody fuck his wife. Yeah. Would you do that shit for? Uh, I fucking it. Yeah, I fucking it. wife. No, he I'm talking about let's fuck up. your wife. He <laughs> let his wife fuck a black dude. And she never fucked dudes before. Yeah. His wife a porn star. Yeah, but, 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 but she only women. filmed with women. She was a she was a lesbian she, porn star. Yeah. She only filled with women. She was a lesbian porn star. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. She did girl on girl. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't never watched. I never looked at her. I didn't either. I, I never did either. I didn't know that too. Uh, that, that, but he, he, he let his wife smash a black man. With a dick about that big right here. I don't want to look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look over here. I'm looking look at her. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what do you do now? So he let his wife smash a black dude, and that was her first time ever doing uh, a porn. Yeah, he said they made like two million on that shit. They did make a lot of money. That what they into? I mean, you marry a porn star, bro? Like, what? What's the big deal? Well, why would you turn down that bag? Yeah. What's the big deal? No, no, you you you, you fucking right because he a porn star too. What's the big Adam deal? Adam twenty two a porn star. Yeah, yeah, he a porn star. Yeah. What's I the big deal? A he is a, 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 a pod. A pod porn a pod star. Pod porn star. Yeah. <laughs> What's the big deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess because she's never fucked a man before, and the fact that it was a black dude. She ain't never fucked a man thing, before. You know, I know she ain't never fucked a man. You, you know why we tripping on that shit? Because is because the word white. So you saying there. it ain't not one porn video that she can be found found fucking a man True. before home? True. Mm-hmm. Huh? Well, see, that's it. I mean, and it's, they, they clear. They clear, and we're we're porn stars. Mm. That was, yeah, that's what it is. They porn star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what it is. They living like that. One hundred percent. One. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, do you eat ass? What? You eat ass? Nah, nah. We ain't gonna do that. Nah. Do we we over here be debating about I, this I'm all saying, the time? I, ain't, I don't knock it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, whatever. That's what whatever I'm trying to say. So, because nigga be trying fetish. to trip on me because I'm getting my ass ate. Oh hell no! Nah. You tripping? <laughs> You tripping, and it always be our man. Come on, man. It always be the heavy sets, man. You sitting back on your leg, on your back, <laughs> holding the back of your thigh. No, nigga, I'm biting the pillow. I'm bent over like that. Oh. Man, what the fuck oh. is you talking about, bro? Don't even play me like that, man. We we'll never put me, put my legs up in the air. You tripping, bro? This <laughs> <laughs> nigga that lost your goddamn mind, bro. I wish I would. If you want a comedian, man, I would have to walk bro. out of the interview, man. <laughs> if you want a comedian, bro, but I know you're a comedian, bro. Stop playing so goddamn much. That's why you sitting right there with your eye, your eye, just that eye outside doing cartwheels. Stop playing so much, man. Nah, but nah, I don't eat air though. I, I might eat a little pussy. Yeah, yeah. Saying, but if you eat a little pussy, you go. You didn't. You nah, didn't slip into the ass nah, a little bit. I ain't did it. I ain't did it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I got. I got OCD. First of all. Oh wow. Like, but uh, you, so, but like, I and don't, I ain't even ate a lot of pussy. Like a that, hole is a hole, bro. Stuff come out that too. Yeah. True. Okay. But see, look at it like that. I Blood ain't, come out if, that. If that what I, if that come what out I that. wanted to do, whatever come out of, if that what mm. I wanted to do, that what I wanted to do. Would you let a girl pee on you? Mm. No. Yeah. Do you I believe? Ain't, I ain't let no girl pee on me, squirt on me, or spit on me, bro. Yeah, that that spitting shit stupid. Ain't no spitting on me, none of that. Yeah, nah, you yes. Said they can't squirt on you. Yeah, don't no, squirt on me, pee on me, none of that. You can squirt on me, definitely. Yeah, I'm nah. like that shit come up like a water fountain on me. Nah, but sh- most most men think it's a good thing. How come you don't like I'm the squirt? I'm doing that. Yeah. <laughs> squirt on me. Like if you down there and giving her head. Hey, I ain't gonna be down there giving no, her head. No, it ain't. It ain't. That's not called what giving a girl head. And she, that's not a giving head if you a guy I get on a girl. And let you do your. You eating a pussy and stuff. Wow. What if she can't tell you? She girl, but now they ever ask me for no head. You gonna know? Have you squared it before? Mm-hmm. You you know like mm-hmm. when it's you know when you finna get ready to do it. Mm-hmm. So okay. But every woman is different. What if it's her first time squirting? Bitch and she need, don't know what's happening. Bitch need to go learn about it. <laughs> 
She might get kicked out right then and there. If it's her first time scoring the channel, I know what's happening. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't young like that. I'm young, but I ain't young. So I'm fucking with you. You got to know what you're doing by now. Hell no, I don't want no squirt on me. That's piss. I don't care what nobody say. That's you don't care belief. what nobody say. That, okay. I ain't saying that's a scientific Google answer. That's just my belief. Man, you right. That's just wrong, my belief. I, I ain't right. saying I'm right. I'm not trying I think to be right, right or wrong. I'm just giving you my belief. I've seen so many women that squirt in and smell like piss, and then you be like, this is just piss. Bitches <laughs> nuts be stinking. <laughs> Bitches nuts stink. But then you got to Google it, to and me? then they say it technically ain't it's piss mixture. and all kind of other shit. I'm like, bro, this shit smell like piss. I'm cool. I ain't fucking with it. I'm cool. I'm not, I'm not going to do it at my house. Man, we don't know what you're going to do. We don't yeah, know yeah. what you or your eye going to do, man. Yeah, hey, man, listen. Hey, because they are thinking we, you a deal, man. We, come on, bro. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I had, I had to dress deal, it up a little man. bit. Hey, what's up with it. the infield piece and shit? You still fucking with that? Yeah, I do what I'm in the See what I'm saying? You ain't know what? They God damn. I don't fucking with them. You ain't got me no infield drink? Come on, man. You ain't got me no infield drink? Where your hand been at, man? <laughs> See, I had to wear glove hit that <laughs> jack. <laughs> I don't know, man. Where your hand been at, man? Uh, I'm just fucking with you, did my man. Hey, I appreciate you, you man. No, you, you got me no fuel shit, huh? No, I'm going to hook you up. Nah, I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to get you some sitting down here. I fucked the smoke. Because it, it was out of, it was out of uh, New York and shit. I seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was out of New York it. and you stuff. We had the pizza on the drink. We had the pizza and drink. Yeah, all that shit. Man, nigga, you... I'm on that healthy looking piece of though, man. I, with, the, with just the green little light uh, spinach on top of it. Nah. What you want? Well, you, so the, yeah, that's margarita we pizza. The, what we you want, want? We want the trenches, the trapped out looking pizza. You like okay? The, like the Papa John type looking piece. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm put you, you know on. What I'm saying? That shit looked like it had just cottage cheese and um. It depends on what you don't be shitting on my pizza, <laughs> like a pizza, bro. Like vegan pizza, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? Hey, shout out to Pizza Pusher, How man. I'm gonna be an infused Pe vegan pizza, man. Y'all burnt that. Uh, bro, that shit good. I ain't saying that. I, I want. I want to try. I'm gonna hook you up. I'm give me right. Give me right. Give me a deal with them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna we gonna put yeah, something together. Talk numbers. I'm gonna holler at my man Pizza put Pizza Pusher in. Yeah, see let's talk do. numbers. Hey, listen, man, I really appreciate you coming through New Jack Thriller City, bro, man. Is there anything you want to say to our audience, man, before we get up out here? Uh, hold on. I don't know. Is there anything you want to say to the audience before you get up out there? Yes, definitely. Man, if you ain't already up on my dog, which I know you already is and stuff, but for those who ain't tapped in, Yo, go get all this nigga music, stream it today. I'm telling you, this is one of the most charismatic up and coming guys that you'll ever meet in your life and whatnot. You know, he was a child, a child star. Now he a grown man. Yeah, we gotta tell man. him you gotta let him know about. I, we ain't, you ain't let him know about nothing like where I come from musically or nothing, bro. Hey, he came from I'll the rich doing kids. Any interview, bro. Y'all speak on everything else except the music, music history part. Man, uh, y'all gotta start doing that. Everybody knew you is though, big dog. Not everybody. Man. We don't know who gonna view this. We can't do that. You can't say that. You, did, you can't bro. say that. Give them the rundown. Because right now, if I go to Jim and Kimmer tomorrow, I'm out, they're going to be asking me, Ooh, you can't say that. Everybody already know you. No, everybody don't. I don't. It's 8 billion people in the world. I don't got that many followers. Hey, hey, listen, eight billion. You know what all you saying to me? This is what you saying to me right now. I'm finna do what you just asked me to do. Do I got something I want the audience to know? Hell yeah. I'm Rich Kid Junior. That's where I started off from, from the Rich Kids group in Atlanta. And then I went solo and came and became Jose Guapo. Then I dropped my song Guapanese, which is my language I created. And then I carried on as a solo artist, Jose Guapo, and continue making hit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then you have it, and we here today. And I'm one of the most funniest people in the world when I want to be. You might need to take me on a uh, stand up tour, see how I do. Hey, t a tip made it happen. I'll open for you. Tip, you I, don't... I, I ain't tripping, I, I, I'm humble. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, Cody. I, I think that'll work. I'm not mad at that. Now look, now, I, now, I, I'm not mad at they that. They say TK Kirkland give Charles and Whitey money. We I'm gonna make sure you get your fucking money, 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 man. <laughs> don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do. We gonna make sure you get your goddamn yeah, yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free Hendrix. Hey, y'all give it up for Jose Guapo, man. Let's take some pictures. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.